in this tutorial we will create front view of this control panel this is MCC that is motor control center at first we will create this square of 1200 by 1200 and then we will offset these lines at a distance of 400 click here scroll down and select a CAD ISO dot DWT then to check the unit setting type UN enter here I am using length type of decimal precision of 4 digits angle type is decimal degrees precision is 0 and insertion scale is millimeter so I will be using default settings I am not making any changes click on OK then I am keeping here object snap tracking on then object snaps are also on and if you click on this arrow so I am using endpoint midpoint center quadrant intersection and extension object snaps click on rectangle then specify first corner point take your cursor away then specify size of 1200 comma 1200 enter then zoom it now this is a single object for offset we will need separate objects so we will have to break it for breaking this square into individual objects you will have to use explode command click on explode then select object enter now these entities has been separated then click on offset then specify offset distance of 400 enter then select object click on multiple then click and click then press escape then again click on offset specify offset distance of 4 enter then select this line then take your cursor on this side and click again select this line take your cursor on this side and click same way for this click take your cursor on this side and click click take your cursor on this side and click and enter then remove the internal lines for that type E for arrays enter then select these internal lines enter zoom minus then next we will create this light fascia which is useful for alarms and indications so you can get the dimensions of each component from the manufacturer catalogs or from their websites to create this pressure click on line pan it below zoom there specify first point then for straight line make ortho on then take your cursor on this side specify length of 40 enter take your cursor above and specify height of 70 enter then take your cursor on this side and specify length of 30 enter and then click on this endpoint enter then to create opposite portion we will have to mirror it for that click on mirror then select this object enter specify first point of mirror line so we will be creating mirror around this vertical line so click on this endpoint take your cursor below and click and click on no then arrange this internal line for that type E enter select this line enter then we will have to move it for that click on move select object enter then this endpoint will be our base point click there and click on this midpoint zoom minus then next we will create this temperature indicator and controller 
and we will left here space of 50 mm click on rectangle then zoom here specify first point take your cursor on right side then specify length of 150 comma width of 105 enter then to fillet the corners click on fillet then click on radius specify fillet radius of 10 enter and click on polyline and select this object then click on offset specify offset distance of 5 enter then click on this line take your cursor inside and click and press enter then to create this square of temperature indicator and controller click on rectangle specify first point take your cursor away specify distance of 75 comma 75 enter then we will move it and place it in the center of this outside object for that click on move select this object enter Take your cursor to this midpoint. We want to track that point. So don't click there. Take it away. So it will mark it. Then again take your cursor on this midpoint. Then take your cursor in the center. So it will track those two points. And it will locate the center of this square. Click there. Then make ortho off. Then take your cursor on this midpoint. And on this midpoint and take your cursor to the center and click then we want to place it at a distance of 50 from this line for that we will move this object click on move select this object enter then specify this midpoint as a base point then to locate the mid between these two points press shift and right click and click on mid between two points then click on this end point and this end point then press enter to repeat the last command then select this object enter specify base point make ortho on take your cursor below and specify distance of 50 enter so in this way it has been located at a distance of 50 then to Place the text TIC. For that, click on multi line text. Then zoom here. Specify first point. Take your cursor away and specify opposite corner. Then type there TIC. Then select it and increase the height to 50. Enter. Click outside. 50 is larger. Just double click on it and select it and we will make it 30. Enter and click outside. Then to locate this text in the center we will have to move it. You can also type M for move. Type M. Enter select this object. Enter specify base point. Make ortho off and place it in the center zoom minus then next is to create these indicators now this is LED illuminated selection switch click on circle center radius specify center point before that zoom here then specify center point take your cursor away then specify radius of 10 enter then zoom it then click on line then specify first point on this center point take your cursor away specify length of 10 then press tab for angle specify angle of 45 enter enter then extend this line for that click on this arrow near the trim and click on extend and press enter and click on this line enter then we will mirror this line 
click on mirror select this line enter then specify first point of mirror line it will be this quadrant point take your cursor below ensure that your line is straight or you can make it straight by clicking on this ortho mode and by turning it on then click below enter zoom minus then we want two rows of four columns for that we will array this click on rectangular array then select this object enter then number of columns 4 is correct then gap between columns will be 50 enter then number of rows will be 2 enter then gap between rows will be 50 enter then click on close array then we will move it below we will move it after creating this portion so that we can place it with respect to this dimension so before that we will create this push button and this selection switch for this selection switch click on hatch then select this solid and click inside this switch and enter then to create push button we will use donut command click on draw click on donut then specify inside diameter we will give here 14 enter then outside diameter we will give here 20 enter then click and we will create two three copies later on also we will need it press enter then we want to replace this led with this push button for that click on this array then click here on replace atom then select replacement object so this is our replacement object press enter then select base point of replacement object so this center point will be our base point click there then select atom in the array to replace so we want to replace this atom and press enter enter and escape so here this atom has been replaced properly then to write down text below it so here is lss 124 for that we will copy this tic for copy type co enter then select this text enter specify base point make ortho off and click here and escape then to edit double click on this text then select it and reduce the size to 15 enter click outside then again double click and make it lss1 that is led illuminated selection switch click outside then move it and place it at proper place type m for move enter select this object enter specify base point and we will place it here then we will copy it click on copy select this object enter specify base point make ortho on and give them proper locations enter then we will again move it move select all the text enter and shift it on the left side then double click and change their titles this is 2 and 3 then 4 double click and change them click outside then we will copy this one below type co enter select this text enter specify base point take it below and click and enter now this is 
L1 and L6. Just double click and make it L1. Then move it, type M, enter, select this text, enter, specify base point and place it. Then copy, enter, select this object, enter, specify base point and specify second point and we will copy it here also. Enter, double click, make it L6. Click outside. Then here it is PB4 and SS2. Press button 4 and selection switch 2. Double click and make it PB4. PB4 and selection switch SS2. Click outside. Then move it M. Enter, select this object. Enter and place it roughly in the center. So this is created properly. We will move it later on. So this portion is ready. The next is to create this one. Click on rectangle. Specify first point. Take your cursor away. Give the dimension of 200 comma. 200 enter then click on fillet click on polyline click on this rectangle click on offset press enter click on this line take your cursor inside and click and enter then click on move select this object enter then base point will be this midpoint then make ortho off, then take your cursor to this end point and take your cursor to this end point and look at that point and click. Then next is these emitters. For that we will copy this TIC. Type CO. Then select this object. Then enter. Then specify this point and take it here and click and press enter. Then double click and make it A1. Click outside. Move it and place it in the center. Then we will array this. Click on array. Select this object. Enter. Then number of columns will be 2. Enter. Then number of rows will be also 2. Enter. Then click here. Specify gap of 100. Enter. Take your cursor below. Then only it will update it. Then click here and specify gap of minus 100. Enter. Take your cursor below. We can reduce this gap. We will make it minus 90. Enter. Take it below. Then we can also make it 90. Enter. Escape. Then we will place it in the center. For that click on move. Select this object. Enter. Then we want to locate this center point. For that press shift and right click and click on mid between two points then select this end point and this end point so here this midpoint is located then take your cursor on this midpoint and on this midpoint and take your cursor in the center and click so here it has been placed in the center then we need to change this nomenclature now this is array therefore we cannot change it so to break this array we will have to use explode command click on explode select this object enter then double click and change it to 2 3 and 4 click outside zoom minus so this is also ready then we will move it below click on move select this object 
enter specify base point and take it below and click then we will copy this here for that click on copy select this object enter specify base point then make ortho on and place it here and enter then here we want three rows and four columns for that click on these atoms then change number of rows to three enter and escape then here we want three push buttons for that click on this array then click on replace atom then select this object then press enter then select base point of replacement object that will be this center point click there and select this object and this object press enter press escape then move it below type m enter select this object enter click on this center point then track this center point and or you can also use this center point click there then we will copy this text above for that type co enter select this text enter specify this midpoint as a base point and click on this midpoint escape then change the nomenclatures now here we want L2 to L5. Double click, make it L2. Then move it, type M, enter, select this object, enter, specify base point, and place it in the center. Then we will arrange this, type E, enter, select this object, enter, then we will copy this, type CO, enter, select this object enter specify this point as a base point and this point as a second points enter then double click make it three double click make it four click outside double click make it five click outside then here eliminated press button one two four lpb one Click outside, double click, PB2, double click, PB3, and PB4. Click outside. Then next is press button, press button 1, 2, 3, and selection switch 1. So this is selection switch 1, and this is PB1, PB2, and PB3. Then move it, type M, enter, select this object, enter, place it in the center. Same way for this object. So this has been placed properly. Then next is to create this voltmeter and ammeter. For that, we will copy this. Type CO, enter, select this object, enter, then specify this point as a base point, and then press shift and right click and click on mid between two points. Then select this end point and this end point and press escape. Then this will be voltmeter V and this will be ammeter. Then arrange these two, type E, enter, select these objects, enter. Then we will stretch it above, for that click on stretch. Then specify first point on this side, take your cursor on the left side. For this crossing window is required, then click, enter, then specify this midpoint as a base point. Then take your cursor to this midpoint and take your cursor here. 
make our throne so here it is tracking properly click there then move this V and A type M enter select these objects enter specify base point and specify second point then next is this RYB for that we will copy this type CO enter select this object enter specify base point here take your cursor on this side then click on this midpoint and escape then click on this object make it number of rows as 1 enter and number of columns as 3 enter then to bring these LEDs click on reset array so it will bring the original objects then click on close array then we will move it above type M enter select this object enter click on this midpoint or center point make ortho off then track this midpoint take it below and click then copy CO enter copy this V enter click here and click second points enter double click change it to R Y and P click outside unmove it ok this is ready then next is to create this voltage selection switch and ammeter selection switch zoom here click on rectangle specify first point take your cursor away give the size of 40 comma 40 press enter then zoom it then click on fillet then click on polyline click on radius give the radius of 5 enter select this object then click on line then take your cursor to this midpoint this midpoint take it below click then make ortho on take your cursor above give the height of 18 enter take your cursor on this side give the length of 4 enter enter then we will mirror it click on mirror select this object enter specify this point as the first point of mirror line take your cursor on the right side and click and enter then click on three point arc then specify first point here then make ortho off take your cursor to this end point track that point and click and click on this end point again click on three point arc click on this end point then take your cursor to this end point click here and click here then erase this internal line E enter and select these lines enter then we will mirror it click on mirror select this object enter click on this end point take your cursor below and click and enter then click on circle then take your cursor to this end point take your cursor to this quadrant and locate this center point specify radius of 15 enter then trim tr enter then select this arc as a limiting objects enter click on this arc enter so this button is ready then we will move it here click on move select this object enter click on this midpoint then take your cursor to this midpoint and take it below and we will also track this quadrant and click then here VSS for that type CO enter select this object enter specify base point then click here enter double click make it VSS click outside 
then we will copy this type co enter select this object enter click on this midpoint again drag this midpoint and click escape and double click make it ass click outside then here is this push button we will not need it now type e enter select this object enter the next is to create this danger symbol zoom here click on rectangle specify first point take your cursor away specify size of 80 comma 80 enter then zoom there then copy this vss here type co enter select this object enter specify base point and specify second point enter zoom there double click remove this text then click on symbol click on other then bring here windings font and here is the danger symbol select copy then close this dialog box then right click and paste then backspace select it and increase the size to 80 enter click outside then move it above type m enter select this object enter specify base point and click then we will shift it in the center again m enter select this object enter specify base point make ortho on and place it here then again copy this type co enter select this object enter specify base point make ortho off and click enter then double click and type there danger then reduce the size select this object and make size to 30 enter click outside then place it in the center click on move select this object enter then specify this midpoint as a base point and drag this midpoint and click so this is also ready then next is this fsu 125a zoom here click on circle specify center point take your cursor away then specify radius of 20 enter then zoom there then offset this circle inside click on offset then click on through select this circle take your cursor inside and click enter and click on line then press shift and right click click on nearest click on this point take your cursor on this side and click then press enter then mirror this line type mi for mirror select this object enter specify this quadrant point as first point of mirror line then make ortho on take your cursor on the right side and click and press enter then click on line click here take your cursor below and click enter then type tr for trim press enter enter and remove these objects enter then this one also tr enter enter remove this enter then click on hatch and click inside this circle and enter then zoom minus then we want to place it at the gap of 565 now 565 is from the bottom now we have not created this channel frame so it will be 565 minus 100 that is 465 click on offset specify gap of 465 
enter, select this line, take your cursor above and click and enter. Then move this, click on move, select this object, enter, click on this center point, then shift right click, click on perpendicular and click on this horizontal line. Then erase this line, type E, enter, select this line, enter, zoom minus. Then next is to create these earthing symbols. Click on line. Take your cursor to this end point. Take your cursor above. Click. Take it outside. Click. Take it below and click. Then zoom there. Take your cursor on this side and click and enter. Then offset this line. Then click on through, select this line and click enter. Then click on line, click on this end point, then shift plus right click, click on nearest and click on this point here and enter. Then trim this portion, type TR, enter, enter and select these objects, enter. Then erase this line, E, enter, select it, enter. Then we will mirror it. Click on mirror, select this object, enter, specify first point of mirror line, take your cursor below and click and enter. Then we want same on the opposite side, again we will mirror this symbol. Click on mirror, select this object, enter. Click on this midpoint, take your cursor below and click press enter. Then next is to create this rubber sheet of 10 mm thickness. For that we will offset this line above by 10. Zoom here, click on offset, specify offset distance of 10, enter, select this line and click above, enter. Then trim this line, for that type TR, enter, enter and select these objects, enter. Then next is to create this channel of 100 sides. For that type TP, for tool palettes, enter, then click on these lines. And from here select structural, then scroll it down, here is the channel metric, click on it and click. Then close these tool palettes, then click on this channel, then click here and we want channel of 100 size, escape. Then we will move it and place it here, click on move. Select this object, enter, select this end point and click on this end point. Then we will mirror it, click on mirror, select this object, enter, click on this midpoint, take your cursor below and enter. Then we will create horizontal line, click on line, click on this end point and this end point, enter, then again enter. Track this end point, click and again track this end point and this end point and click enter. Then we will mirror this line, click on mirror, select this line, enter, click on this midpoint, take your cursor on the right side, click enter. So this channel frame is also ready. Then we need to show your bolted connection. For that we will create one line. Click on line, click here, take your cursor below and click enter. Same way on this side, enter, click here, take your cursor below and click enter. Zoom minus. So this frame is also ready. Then these locking holes. For that zoom here, 
click on circle specify center point give the radius of 5 enter enter click on the center point give the radius of 10 enter then move it below m enter select this object enter specify this point and take it below and click then we will copy it on this side type co enter select this object enter specify this point as a base point and this point as a second point press enter then we will copy them in the center for that type co enter select these objects enter then specify this center point as a base point take your cursor below and track this midpoint and click and enter then we don't want this line type e enter select it enter then we want them on the opposite side we will mirror them click on mirror again select these circles enter then press shift and right click click on mid between two points click on this end point and this end point then take your cursor on the right side and click and enter so they are placed properly then next is to give the dimensions for that zoom here then click here on dimension specify this point as a first point then our second point will be mid between these two points so press shift and right click mid between two points click on this point and this point zoom minus take your cursor above and click now this dimension is not properly visible press escape click on annotation click on dimension style click on modify click on fit and here you will have to increase the scale i will make it 10 ok close now dimension is properly visible then click on dimension then click on continue then select this dimension then again shift plus right click click on mid between two points click on this end point and this end point then click on this end point enter enter then select this line take your cursor above and click then here 100 and 1200 click on this end point click on this end point take your cursor outside and click then click on continue click on this dimension and click on this end point and escape then this dimension again click on dimension click on this end point then click on this midpoint take your cursor outside and click and enter so all the dimensions has been given then this leader nodes bolted channel frame zoom here click on leader then take your cursor on this midpoint track that point click make ortho off then click here and type bolted channel frame click outside then to increase the size click here on annotation click on multi leader style click on modify then click on leader structure and here make the scale of 10 then here in leader format reduce the size to 2.5 we are reducing this to match the dimension style then on content text height will be 2.5 okay close then copy this type co enter select this object enter click on this endpoint then 
drag this midpoint and click here and escape then here is rubber sheet 10 mm thick double click and type rubber sheet enter 10 mm thick click outside click on this leader click on this arrow take your cursor on this side and click again click on this blue grip take it above and click and escape so everything is ready in the next tutorial we will create side view and bottom view and we will also place notes for this drawing and we will also continue our tutorials on AutoCAD basics and tutorial for civil, mechanical, chemical and electronics. So thanks for watching. We will stop here.